everybody. Rochelle and Lane doing a sheet move. We got some of our great high school help, Will and Weston today, helping us move the sheep. We're gonna be running across the road. They're actually behaving pretty well. Jordan's at home, hauling bales, wrapping bales, making feed, doing all the things. come when you call them now. Come on, sheep! Sheep, sheep! Come on, sheep! Come on, sheep! Sheep, sheep! Boy, this is when stuff is going to start getting fun. Come on, sheep! Come on, sheep! Sheep, sheep! All right, Lane. You stand right here so they don't cut down the road. Come on, sheep! As you've seen in the video yesterday, uh, Rochelle and two of our good helpers helped us move the sheep to the other side of the road. Now today, we're gonna sort off the bigger ram lambs. Uh, the, the big sheep flock is gonna be going to the back end of the farm. And now's the time to get the big ram lambs out because they are definitely probably getting capable of breeding. So we're gonna get them pulled out and then the ewes will be running here for another month. And then we're probably gonna be having the ewes go to some solar sites to work. It's not a guaranteed 100% deal or anything, but it's in the works. So we're planning as such, but either way, the ram lamb's gotta get pulled now. And then what the plan is, when the ewes go to work at the solar sites, the rest of the lambs will get weaned off and then we'll have all the lambs here and then the ewes will be working at a solar job so that's what we're doing today i'll show you the setup how we are going to do our sorting okay so here's our chute there's lane and what we're going to do here is one of the key things to getting this set up good is to have it set up so where your two sorting pens are going off the sheep separate themselves really good so they can't see each other as much because when they can see each other that's when they start testing the net and trying to get with each other so getting your shoot set up in a spot where it works best for you wherever your sheep or goats or whatever are in this situation we got a lot of thistles to work with so that kind of works as a natural barrier too where they can't see each other but we're going to run them in below this netting here get them into this area run them in through the shoot and then the ewes and ewe lambs are going to head that direction and then the ram lambs are going to go this direction into this narrow alley and down and around and there's actually a ditch over there where I just started the video and by that ditch there's a lot of grass growing up and they're down over the hill they won't be able to see this group of sheep so it should work out on paper but reality is always something different so we'll see how this goes we're thinking of running the lambs through and separating all the big ones off without even looking at them that way we can just have a really steady flow of lambs just going into this paddock here as quick as possible and then after we get them sorted off we'll do a resort and then we'll actually get in there and actually say yep this is a ewe yep this is a ram yep this is a ewe this is a ram and then we'll sort them off better but that might change that's our plan as of now let's see how it goes all right getting the first set in here come on guys let's go we should have that net come out a little bit i already see that 
Come on, guys. Have that net jot out this way a little bit. All right, come on, guys. Come on, guys. There we go. Perfect. Now we don't have nothing to shut this with. We didn't get that far. That don't work. We got to have a net here. Already a flaw to the plan. Easy to fix, though. Well, after some trial and error here, we came up with a pallet for helping us with the swing gate. We should have a, a real gate there. And then we got out here with the lambs and going this way, and then they were always jumping through the netting because they seen the use. So now we came up with a, a mess of stuff, of junk. So hopefully the mess will create success. We'll find out. All right. Things are going smooth now. I haven't been videoing. I need a video man to capture it all. This is probably like our third or fourth cut. Come on, guys. Bottom shedding off really nicely here. It's June 1st today. So, hey, wait at me. Good boy. Daisy lady, you're too rough. Easy. She's a pushing dog. She, she ain't as good at commands like Rusty is. He's See, he's, he's, he's our go-to. Lady's just good for pushing. Lady, come. Lady, here. Come here, lady. Good. Yeah, but yeah, the way we have it set up now, they're funneling really nice. I bet you we're, I don't know, maybe three quarters of the way done. I'm not entirely sure. Couldn't tell you. But things are going smooth, so it's working out nice. And we lost one. whoop de doo Come on, guys. Rusty, come. There. Rest, come here. Oh, he's behind me. Now they're running in. Look at that. All right, girls and boys and whatever's in here. Come on, guys. We just need a couple leaders. The goats are no longer with us. We got them all working on brush jobs. So, way to me. Way to me. There, walk up, Rusty, here. Come here, walk up. Good boy. Hip. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Need another net? Come on, guys. Lane, no, no, no. You're too much pressure, gotta let off. We're getting them, they're going. Lady easy, girl. Too much pressure. And <laughs> our portable corral is, it works pretty good. This guy, Rusty, come here, wait to me. Here, walk up. We got more wanting to come in. We, we ain't got no more room for you. Come on, guys. Rochelle, back up a little bit. There you go. Well, we're probably, what, halfway through, Nikki? Oh, probably. Sorting ram, ram lambs from ewe lambs. We're worried about the breeding thing. These guys are really growing good. They're all just chilling out down here. We'll make a cut here and bring these up. That's a good group. All right, walk up. Rusty, I thought you were a sheep, man. All right, good group. Yeah, I know. Come on, guys. Getting a little tracked up in here when you're running that many sheep through and then these guys are actually getting sorted for, <laughs> set for sorted for the second time well we got the ewe lambs separated and then again we got all the ewes obviously now we're going to try to run these guys to the back end but they're getting plugged up here a little bit thistles are growing up in the thistle patch there there's so much junk equipment in there Kind of hard to clean it up. Yeah, Rochelle's got him going down the hill. The trail has been going like that for a few minutes now, it feels like. <laughs> we got the tail enders here. Yeah, the trail will literally be from here all the way to the back end long. And they're going, it's 
pretty funny. As long as you have a good leader, it just follows. Just like pulling a rope. And we got all the slack back here. Just unwinding. Now we're getting to the tail end of it. I don't know if the sheep are actually going down the hill. It doesn't look like it. I think they're funneling back. Yep, they're funneling back in. Yeah, they got onto the wrong side here. Rochelle was letting them all go down the hill, but then they came down and came right back up in here, and that's not what we want. But at least we're on square one, so hopefully we can get Skipper to lead them again. Sheep! Sheep! Yeah, we'll find out what we can do here. All right, guys, you're going the wrong direction here. Let's get back on the main route. Here's some bolt full of rows that is dying off and just little, little itty bitty ones coming back. Sheep will actually hit that. All right, I suppose we better go left. They're heading back. I'm gonna make my loop around the top side here and then walk down that point again. If you guys watched the first video when we ran the sheep to the back end, that's where I went and I had the view of watching Skipper lead them all back there. But for some reason, I don't know where my lead dog is. Not gonna lie, the multi-floor rose bushes can be a bear sometimes, but this time of year, they sure smell nice. All the blossoms on them. <laughs> you know what, why sweat the weed their brush if you can use it you know like look at all this this is all dead stuff that got knocked back from goats chewing on it and everything cheapers poor apple tree then you look at it down here and the goats girdled it it's trying to come back but you know like oh man that's an apple tree you don't want that to happen but there are a lot of apple trees around here and doesn't matter so much if you lose a couple. But them goats, they really do good work though. Now, if a guy wanted to level the playing field, he could come out here with a bush hog and knock these ones back if he really wanted to, but they will degrade over time too, so. Coming up on our point. And we'll walk right off of this and see the sheep. Sure is a nice spot in here though. A lot of nice oak trees, some hickory trees, a bunch of rocks. <laughs> Boy, grass is really growing this year, man. We have so much rain. It's been super, super good for growing grass this year. Night and day difference compared to last year. Coming good. Hey, 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 what are you doing? No, it's not where you go. Fall in line. Thank you. <laughs> Get in line, yeah, thank you. And they're coming with the ranger pretty quick here, I can hear it. Hey, hey, fall in line. Fall in line, thank you. Making our way. I think I could see a few of them through the woods up there. They're going up the hill pretty decently ish. They should just spend some time here in the woods. There. Lady. Lady, take it easy there, girl. They're definitely eating a lot of gooseberry bushes and multi flora rows. Skipper, you're supposed to be in the front. Leading them all, but now they're actually going this year, or this run, so. Not too bad climbing the big hill winded after a big day of sorting and 
bailing hay till two in the morning and uh, we should be getting caught up here after this stuff trying to get up the hill and around these guys it's been an entire month actually 30 days since we've been back here so i wasn't planning on grazing this farm yet but since they're going on solar jobs then uh we're gonna try to keep them here and then maybe actually bale a little bit of hay off the other farm and then use it for winter feed over there that's the plan anyways and then we'll be growing stockpile and when the sheep come back we'll be sitting pretty should be able to graze a long time and then we'll have extra feed besides should be a win win and win all the way around i hope but we'll see if any of you guys have experience with grazing solar with sheep i'd like to hear about it um i have heard from other people that breed up can be an issue and i don't know if it's the electromagnetic frequency or whatever but some people claim they don't have any issues with it and i've heard that some people do so i'd like to hear your opinion let me know what you guys have heard or thought or experienced boy look at the beautiful grass knee high but this is by the woods i think the leaves that put off more carbon over the years get more grass growth the further you get out kind of up on the knob it starts getting more spindly less carbon more rocks lower fertility but we've been adding carbon ever since we've been grazing so we're growing it we're building it it's coming and on years like this it's really good opportunities to lay down some carbon because you can grow way more grass put some more carbon into the the soil health bank account and then that'll be a bank account for building yourself up for when the drought years come i know we used up some of those river reserves a little bit last year you could tell but we'll make up for it now with all the moisture we've been getting but even on the drought year last year we were still able to have good long rest periods for where we're at here in southeast minnesota we were doing rest periods up in the 80-ish days and it helped but you still didn't have near the grass there that you do on years like this like this is a 30-day recovery that we're walking on here and not even half as long as that and i'd say we probably have more grass than this than we did a lot of times on the stuff that we did on the 80-day recovery so pretty phenomenal when you're doubling your rest periods and not getting as much grass on a drought year like last year and then with the grazing we've been doing we've been still adding animal units to our grazing and with the same amount of acres going from 2022 to 2023 we were able to gra graze 50 more animal units than the year before so we know we're heading in the right direction and the way things are looking this year now that we got moisture it's exploding again with a bunch of different species of grasses and forbs and legumes and all of the above it's a beautiful thing to see the progress it's exciting it's what keeps you going beat the ewes just in time look at that i thought they would have been way back there by now but we caught them just in time man i am very pleased with the grasses we got coming here this is awesome for just a 30-day recovery period this looks this looks awesome everything is all recovered and looking good very good like i said i wouldn't have been here normally on a just a 30-day rest but it doesn't make sense for me to haul these guys over to the other farm when these guys are already here and we only have about 30 more days before they go to the solar job so financially and just labor wise it makes more sense to do this so that's what we're doing happy sheep
just hear a bunch of ripping going on. Fast ripping. It's not like cattle. It's a rip, 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 rip. Just look at the mouths going on things. <coughs> About three times the speed of a cow. It's like you just put it on fast forward. Small ruminants. They're very fast. Fast, fast grazers. All done. Now we gotta head back and secure the ram lambs. Well, we got to the crazy farm here with a load of ram lambs. Uh, we're gonna set some net up around this little chunk here that's right off the road for easy unloading and get them going on this farm. I suppose the sheep are getting a little warm on here. I got my net set up finally here. Bunch of grass. Untie this and try to count the first load. Sheep are kind of dumb. I threw two of them off already. Just so they see somebody do it. Oh, these guys are just sitting there. Come on, guys. This need to be backed up a little bit further. How about that? Make a difference? Come on, guys. Got a mess. Went on a trailer to get them off and then they all went the wrong direction. Tell you what, without a dog here, we'd be in trouble. Wait a me. Easy, wait a me. I need to grab that net there and swing her open wider. Go in the grass. Come on, you're fine. Come on, guys. Here, it ain't so bad. Scared of everything. Always afraid someone's gonna jump out and get them. Now oh, we got some happy sheep. Going to town. Probably a lot more where that came from. Well, we finished dumping off the rest of the ram lambs. Got quite a few in here, but not near enough to cover the whole farm. I at the before the season started, I was really thinking I was gonna maybe get stockers, but then I'm like, well, maybe I ought to try to make hay on it and, whoops, sorry, Chubbs. Make hay on it and, you know, try to save up for winter that way, but it's hard to get anything made. It rains all the time now. <laughs> so now I wish I would have got stockers, but live and learn probably next year. But at least we'll have a lot of winter feed on hand. But I don't know if this will be the year for that either. Who knows? It's a lot of, a lot of feed out there, that's for sure. Everybody has a lot of feed. Grass is growing so good. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for the next one. Take care and God bless.